When you need controlled, even heat, cast iron has superior heat retention and durability. Our cast iron cookware goes from stovetop to oven, under the broiler, on induction cooktops, on the grill, and you can even put it on a campfire. Now I love cooking with cast iron and I wanna share with you how to cook with it, maintain it, and reseason it. First, our cast iron skillets come pre-seasoned. The seasoning is oil that's baked onto the iron, giving it a natural nonstick finish. Now the best way to keep your cast iron well seasoned is to use it. So let's use it. Cornbread is a family tradition in my home. Add the oil to the 10 inch cast iron skillet and place it in the oven. Preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. I've already made my batter with cornmeal, flour, eggs, buttermilk, and cheddar cheese and chopped jalapenos. And in this case, a little bit of sugar. Then carefully remove the skillet from the oven and pour in the batter. Then bake it in the oven for 30 minutes. So beautiful. And look how easy it comes out of the pan and how great this crispy crust is. Excellent. Now that I've cooked in my pan, let's talk about how to clean cast iron. Rinse the pan with hot water and scrub off any stuck on bits with a nylon brush or a pan scraper. Then hand dry it right away. You don't want to air dry your cast iron because it will start to rust. I mean, the fact is moisture and iron just aren't friends. Then while the pan is still warm, rub it very lightly with cooking oil, like a uh, vegetable oil or canola. This is the way to maintain the seasoning of the pan, then store it in a dry place. Now you shouldn't have to re-season your cast iron very often, but if you notice the surface getting dull, splotchy, or rusty, here's what you do. Wash the pan in warm water, then dry it. Rub a light cooking oil all over the pan. I mean, cover it inside and out. You wanna rub the oil around, removing as much of the excess oil as possible. This step is super important because too much oil can pull into droplets or get sticky. Put the oiled pan upside down in a preheated oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 230 Celsius for one hour. It helps to place a sheet pan on the rack below to catch any oil drips. Remove the pan from the oven and apply more oil the same way you did before. Then place it back into the oven upside down for another hour. Now you can repeat this process as many times as you want. Just know you can't over season cast iron. If your cast iron does start to rust, it's an easy fix. First, we'll scour the area with steel wool. Then rinse the pan out, dry it, and rub it with a light cooking oil. This will let the seasoning build up over time. The care, seasoning, and cooking traditions that you put into this pan can last for generations. I mean, you can pass it on to your kids, they can then pass it on to theirs. I mean, that is pretty amazing. Now, I can't wait to see what you'll create in your cast iron.